Installing the USB driver on your computer is a one-time setup procedure which will allow Windows to communicate with any Kramer control device. You'll notice that the first time you plug in your new control panel, in my case I have an RC63DL, I get a little found new hardware from Windows. Now right now I'm just going to cancel that. But I can go into Kconfig, the configuration software, and I try and connect to my device. And you'll notice that under USB, there's no port selected. Because right now, I don't have the USB driver installed, so Windows and this software has no clue that there's even a device connected. So what I need to do is open up your web browser and go to www.kramerus.com. Then you want to search for your product, so in this case, RC63DL. Click on that product. That brings me to the product's web page. Once I'm on that web page, I want to scroll down to Downloads. And then once I'm at Downloads, I want to go under Product Drivers and find Kramer USB Driver. Click on that and download the file. Once that's downloaded, you want to open it. And you'll notice that it's a zip file. So you need to extract all files before we can do anything. Now it shows my file. This is my driver file, kramer.inf, in my unzipped folder. Now what I want to do is just put this file on a place on my computer that I know where it is. So the easiest way is just to throw it on the desktop. So if we go to the desktop and just drag kramer.inf onto the desktop, that, that way we know where it is at all times. From there, I want to go to the Start menu and right-click on Computer and then select Manage. Once that pops up, I want to go to the Device Manager. And you'll notice that there's an unknown device here, and that's my RC63DL right now that, that my computer just has no idea what to call this product. So what I want to do is right-click on this and say Update Driver Software. Now I don't want Windows to search automatically because I know where that driver is and Windows won't be able to find it by itself. So I want to say browse my computer for driver software. Then I need to point the computer to where that driver file is. So I want to go to browse. And I know I have that file on the desktop so I want to click desktop and then OK. Then I press next and it's going to search for the driver. So it found the driver, but since we don't, this driver isn't certified by Windows, you get a little warning that pops up. So you just want to say install this driver software anyway. And now it's installing. Keep in mind that once you do this procedure, you'll never have to do it again and any Kramer device when you plug it in will now be recognized because the driver has been installed on your computer. Okay, so Windows has accept successfully updated our driver software and you'll see that it now recognizes it as Kramer Electronics USB Com device. So close that, the device manager refreshes itself, and again now where it used to say unknown device, it says there's a Kramer Electronics device located on COM14. So we can close that, and now when we open Kconfig, and we go and we add our RC63DL, we can go to device and connect. and now COM14 pops up. So now our software is able to know that a Kramer device is connected there and now you can connect.